Hey everyone, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. My name's Grant, in today's video we're going to talk about a camera that has always been on my radar. A camera that has always sparked a tremendous amount of interest, and a camera I have always thought about picking up. So let's roll that intro and let's get straight into it. Hey everyone, welcome back. So yeah, this is a camera that has always been on my radar and a camera I've always considered purchasing. However, the time has just never been right. Whenever I post content about the Panasonic GX9 camera right here, everyone says that I must check out this particular camera. And the camera I'm talking about is the Olympus Pen F. Now, for whatever reason, it's a camera that's always eluded me. You know, the timing has never been right for me to make the plunge and actually purchase one. And to be honest with you, there's three roadblocks that has always prevented me getting an Olympus Pen F. Okay, roadblock number one, it's the price. These things are expensive, okay? Over here in Australia, looking around, you know, anywhere from $1,500 to $2,000, that's a starting bid. They can and do go well over $2,000. You can pick them up and import them from Japan, but you're hitting around the $2,000 mark. I'd like the full black version of the Olympus Pen F, and they seem to always be a little bit more expensive than the two-tone silver and black ones. So the price is one thing. The next thing, availability. These things don't come up much, and the timing's never right. Either I don't have the funds ready to go to pick one up, or when I do have the funds, there's none of them around. So they're actually hard to find. And the third reason really is guilt. I can't really justify paying up to $2,000 for a second-hand camera that won't do a tremendous amount of things for me. It is a real niche style of camera. It's a camera that I would probably only use for personal work, to be honest with you, street photography and stuff like that. At $2,000, that's quite a hefty price. I can't justify putting that into a particular camera just for sort of personal work. Especially when over here in Australia, you can pick up like a GH5, an original GH5, under $1,000. Camera like that will do more for me than the Olympus Pen F. So they're the three roadblocks that really do prevent me from getting an Olympus Pen F. And I must say too, you know, I'm the first one to call out people who were paying $3,500 for the Fujifilm X100V, a camera that really, in my opinion, is way overhyped. So, you know, there's a little bit of guilt there to sort of say, well, who am I to go and get an Olympus Pen F and pay nearly double what it was when it was released. However, there still are a few things that do justify the purpose uh, and, you know, the story I'm trying to tell myself why I should get the Olympus Pen F. Okay, first thing would be, it would be a great small tiny camera for street photography. I know you guys and girls who do comment, a lot of you are street shooters and you use it out in urban settings. So it would be great for that sort of stuff. It would also be, you know, a fantastic camera to pair up with the Olympus uh, 17mm f1.8 for all that street photography stuff. Very niche very cool, very retro for street photography, as I said. It would be a really new, cool experience, you know, for me to maybe get away from Panasonic bit and Lumix cameras and maybe experiment with an Olympus system, Olympus menu and all that sort of thing. Experiment with colors and JPEGs and really sort of maybe boost motivation a bit with a new camera and a new system. The Olympus Pen F would be a great camera for me to feature here on this YouTube channel. If any of you have checked out videos, you know, previous videos that I've made, you know, it's all very micro four thirds heavy. And I know that camera has a massive following in the micro four thirds community. So it would be a great camera to feature every now and again here on this YouTube channel. Another micro four thirds camera to really grow and give this channel a bit of a boost. And hopefully by the end of 2023, I might have enough money to actually buy an Olympus Pen F. So there you have it. They're my reasons I'm not getting a Pen F. They're the reasons that I might get a Pen F. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. Do you use an Olympus Pen F? Let me know down in the comments below. Do you think maybe I should look at getting an Olympus Pen F in the near future? If you like this sort of thing, please consider subscribing to the channel. That helps me out a lot. Big thumbs up for the video and I'll see you all next time.